the Lord. But when things are going bad, how many of you know that's a better time to praise the Lord, to, to lift up his name? How many of you know that in the name of Jesus, there's power in the name of Jesus? We were driving to church this morning, and the song came on the on the radio, something about the name of Jesus. When you get in a tight spot and it seems that there's no hope, you got to learn how to trust in the Lord. And so as I close this morning, I want to encourage somebody in here today. The only way is up. There's still hope. I know that it gets hard sometimes. I know that the weight of the pressure is oftentimes unbearable. But the psalmist is saying here in the text uh, that in the difficult times, uh, instead of giving up, uh, instead of throwing in the tile, uh, instead of giving in to the pressure, the psalmist says, hear me, oh God, uh, when I call, uh, hear my prayer. And how many of you know we serve a good God today? Uh, God today and all you have to do is call on him and he'll come call his name and he'll hear your soul's cry of thirst and he'll quench it call on his name and he'll hear your soul cry of hunger and will satisfy it call on his name and he'll hear your cry of shame and he'll remove it call on the name of Jesus hear your trouble and he'll hear it. Call on the name of Jesus. He'll hear your turmoil and calm it. Call on the name of Jesus. He'll hear your cry of death and he'll fill you up. He'll pay it off. Call on the name of Jesus. He'll hear your cry of problem and he'll solve it. Call on the name of Jesus. He'll hear your cry of weakness and Call on the name of Jesus. He'll hear your cry of bondage and he'll release it. Call on the name of Jesus. He'll hear your cry of guilt and he'll pardon it. We got to learn how to call on the name of Jesus. I heard somebody say he's our savior. I heard somebody say he's our friend. We got to learn how to call on the name of Jesus. The Oh!